Hi everyone, Ms. W here, and we're going to work some protein synthesis practice problems together. Before we take a look at the practice problems we're going to do today, I wanted to make sure that you have a clear understanding of what protein synthesis is. There's other videos that you can watch to understand this process further, but quick overview is that we are going to go from DNA, which is where the instructions for all of the proteins in your body are found, and we're going to read certain sections of the DNA to construct a messenger RNA strand. This is called transcription. From that messenger RNA strand, we're going to do translation out in the cytoplasm with the help of a ribosome to actually build our protein. The building blocks of both DNA and messenger RNA are nucleotides with one exception. Um, DNA has thymine where messenger RNA has uracil. And then after that, after the ribosome takes a look at that messenger RNA, we're going to use what we find on the messenger RNA to string together amino acids, which are the building blocks of protein. Our first practice is a pretty straightforward protein synthesis question. It says, what is the amino acid sequence that corresponds to the DNA sequence C-A-T-T-A-T-A-A-A? So just a little reminder that we always look at things three letters at a time. Three messenger RNA nucleotides is going to equal one codon, and that one codon is going to code for one amino acid. So that's why I have it divided up in three here. Sometimes they do that for you, and sometimes they don't. The first thing that we need to do is transcription. This is where we take DNA, which is what we're given. I know that from the T's and we transcribe it into messenger RNA. So real quick, our base pair rules, A bonds with U, T bonds with A, C bonds with G, and G bonds with C. So we're going to use those rules to build our messenger RNA strand. So I'm going to do that really quickly. All right, we have G, U, A, a, U, A, U, U, U as our strand. Now we're just going to use these on the codon chart, three letters at a time, looking at one codon at a time to figure out what our amino acid is going to be. So G, U, A first, use the chart over here. Let me get a color that shows up really nice. We have G, U, and so that's going to put us in this box, just where those two cross is the box you're going to be in. And then do you see how these repeat on the side? You're going to choose the group that goes with your first codon. So you're going to choose this group because that's what lines up with the G, the first codon, and you're going to look for the A. So GUA is going to code for the amino acid valine. And don't worry, you don't have to remember what these three letters stand for. Um, all you have to know is the VAL, and that's fine. All right, next one, AUA. Let me grab a different color. We have AUA. So where all three of those line up, we have isoleucine. Oops, let me write that the right way. There you go. And then our last one, U, U, U. Let me grab a different color. We have U, U, and U, which is going to give us phenylalanine. All right. Those are our three am amino acid um, sequence. This is our amino acid sequence that corresponds with this DNA sequence. Our next problem is a DNA sequence is comprised of 21 thymine nucleotides. What would the corresponding protein be? First, let's get our base pair rules. A is going to bond with U, T bonds with A, C bonds with G, and G bonds with C. Now, if I could write out 21 thymines, but I'm going to do a little shortcut. I know that if I have 21 thymines, my messenger RNA is going to be 21 adenines because each one of those T's is going to bond with an A. Now the other thing that I know is that for three messenger RNA nucleotides, that's going to equal one codon. And each codon is going to code for one amino acid. So if I can just divide this number by three, I'm going to get seven. So that means I'm going to have seven codons coding for seven amino acids. So now I just need to figure out 
what AAA, which would be my codon, what that codes for on the chart. So let's check it out. We have A is our first letter. A is our second letter or base, so that puts us in this box, which means we need to look at these bases for our third letter. And we have A. So that is going to all line up to be lysine. And how many would we have? Seven. So that is going to be our corresponding protein. For our final question, we have how many amino acids would the following DNA sequence code for? And then I've given you a pretty long code here. Now here's the deal. We can do our tip that we learned from this last one, three messenger RNA nucleotides is one codon, which would be one amino acid. And so our first step really is to divide this into our codons. So if you count that, that would be one, two, three, four, five. So you might think the answer is five, but we need to keep going and go ahead and do transcription and translation to double check that, that we would actually have five amino acids. And I'll explain why as we go. So first, base pair rules. A bonds with U, T bonds with A, C bonds with G, and G bonds with C. Let's go ahead and use our base pair rules to find our messenger RNA strand. I'm going to do this really quick. All right. Next, we're going to go ahead and use the codon chart to start figuring out our amino acid sequences. So we have AUG. I'm going to go through this very quickly. AUG is going to be methionine. We have GGG. Glycine. We have CUC, so C, and then U up here. C would be leucine. Then we have UAA. I'm going to get a different color for this one to really point something out. We have UAA. A. This codes for a stop codon. And so we are actually going to stop right there. You can write stop in if you want. You don't have to. But that is the end of our amino acid sequence. Once we hit the stop code, the, the codon that codes for stop, that tells the ribosome that we're done making that protein and it's going to let it go and fold up to come, become the protein. So for this question, how many amino acids would the following DNA sequence code for? It really only codes for three amino acids. I hope this helps. Thank <laughs> you.